Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Today I'm with my neighbor Avia and we're going to be repotting the Enjobium orchids. I thought I knew a lot about orchids until I met Avia and since then I've learned so much. So stay with us as we repot one of my Dendrobium orchids, which is long overdue. Okay, Avia, this is it. Oh my. <laughs> it should have been done maybe two, three, year, three years ago, eh? Oh my, my. Anyway, but I can get a lot of plants out of this, yes, right? Yes, you can. All right. Yes, you can. Okay, there's a lot going on with this one. Yes. Okay. All right. So here you are going to have, this is a beautiful one. Beautiful. Is that just one kiki or? No, two? this is two kikis. Two kikis. But we're going to Twin. put them both together. Yes. All right, so. Okay, before we do anything, we're just going to clean up mm -hmm. with hydrogen peroxide. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Just give it a little slip right here. Wow, we we'll have some nice healthy roots. Yes, here. these are beautiful roots. Mm -hmm. So. And as you can see here, we also have beautiful roots right here, mm -hmm. but then there are some that are rotting that we're going to have to clean off. All right. And we're going to separate this, but yes. later we'll just show you how to pot this one. All right, so we're We're going to pot the kiki first. Mm -hmm. See these beautiful roots going down? Did you tell me you put um, some, oh, you spray the pot as well. Yes. I'd wash them, but you like to just spray them. Okay, good. What about the cinnamon? Are you gonna put cinnamon on the? Yes. On the we pot? put the cinnamon on the cane. Yes. Because this prevents moisture from getting in and rotting it. And rotting it. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Yeah. You're just dressing the cut. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that nice roots. Do you put all the roots in a pot or you leave some out? All the roots. You put all the roots. All the roots. Oh, okay. Uh, you can leave the roots out when you are doing a phalaenopsis. Okay. Once you have those aerial roots, you leave those. Okay. But for the dendrobium, you allow the, all the roots to go in. Okay. So this pot would seem a little bit small. So maybe that other so one. So we're going to use a larger pot for yes. this one. Okay. You've got to spray that one as well. Yes. I thought it was just sufficient to wash them, but I think that's a good idea to spray them with some hydrogen peroxide. Yes. Yeah. Now, here's the medium mm -hmm. that we're going to use. Stones. So and we have charcoal. stones and charcoal. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Some of the stones to the bottom. Yes, because you don't want to be breaking them. Yes. Could have used a bigger pot. Okay. But this is fine. No. Oh, I wasn't listening. My mentor told me, Miss Maggie, mm -hmm. that you plant east to west. Mm -hmm. So you put the spent cane facing eastward and the new growth 
westward because everything is going to grow in this direction okay. and it will fill the pot after a while. So don't worry that you're not putting it in the middle, you put it facing east. Okay. We're going to use some charcoal. Now charcoal has um, awesome properties. For one, it absorbs toxins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and mineral salts. Okay. So those things that you get from the artificial fertilizers, mm -hmm. you'll find that the coal will absorb all of that and it keeps the roots fairly dry. Mm -hmm. So the coal we use, and it's awesome, just awesome. And it okay. does not break down. It's like the stones. Yes. yes. You'll never find the coal breaking down. Yeah. So we put some coal. And it's also big enough for the roots to wrap around. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to use our steak. Okay. When you put the steak in before you put the stones, mm -hmm. because the stones are going to stabilize it also. Did you like um, work playing in dirt? Oh and yes, oh yes, my <laughs> grandmother didn't like it, but I loved it. Yes, yes. And my mother used to say, what a girl loves to love dirt. dirt. What a girl loves dirt. And I still love dirt. I don't have a problem with dirt being on my hands. Oh, once you love doing this, you're going to, you're just yeah, going to love dealing with the soil. Right. You know, I've noticed with artists as well, Almost all the artists we have interviewed for the magazine have said that when they're in school, from, from primary school or even earlier, they were drawing in their exercise books. Oh yes. Yeah. And I can attest to that. <laughs> uh, a lot of teachers would call it doodling. Yes. I did that. Yeah. But I found I liked drawing plants and dolls. And dolls. Because okay. I used to make paper dolls. Okay, okay. So I draw the dresses and dress them up. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You used to have the cut out dresses. Yes. Yeah. So that's one. Okay, so okay. here we go. That is a double, a, a twin kiki. One there. It's a twin kiki. Beautiful. And we're just going to water this for now. And then how soon after you start to fertilize? Because I think you don't fertilize immediately, right? Um, for this one, I, I usually, I fertilize immediately. Oh, okay. But it depends on what you are using. I usually use Nitro Plus 23 okay. because of the nitrogen properties that it has. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not that strong. Okay. So it won't burn the it won't burn the plant, mm -hmm. and it aids with the rooting immediately. Okay, okay. I see a stone holding on for dear life there. Yes, and we're not going to take it off. All right, you have a big enough pot for okay, that. Is there it? you go. Because these roots aren't as, as many as those, we can yeah. use a smaller pot. Okay, so you use that other pot. Yes. We had already sterilized it. Right. So you put in some stone. Mm -hmm. Then you put the plant in. Oh yeah, all of those roots are holding very well. Right. That's a nice plant. Yes, it looks it like is. I'll get bloomed soon. Soon. Very soon. And you go cold again. Mm -hmm. Do you break the coal if, if, if they're a little bit on, the, if they're big? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. And you can also use coal dust. Okay. There's nothing wrong with using the dust because okay. it does the same thing. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the properties the coal has. Okay, we can put that on. Mm 
Now, you do not want the roots too submerged. Mm -hmm. And you want to pot the orchid the same way it was to mirror how it was before when the roots were coming up. So you don't want to submerge it. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure the stones help to stabilize it. Yes. I think this one needed a steak too. Do we have any more? Yes. Here's another steak. It's a little shorter, but it's tall enough, right? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the thing about the steaks, it's good when you put it in before it starts rooting. Right. Because by forcing mm -hmm. it down, you might damage some of the roots. That's and if true. you notice, the steak has already stabilized the plant. Yeah. Are we Here gonna you put go. some coal on top as well, or you don't bother? You don't have to. You can, but you don't, don't have to. No, this is where you could, oh, the coal also gets rid of scents. Okay. So if you're potting with sphagnum moss, mm -hmm. you put the coal in it because the sphagnum moss holds moisture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it will develop an odor. The coal absorbs that. Because coal is used to purify. Yes. Because even our water system, the water pur purification system, it actually uses coal. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, here you are. One. Wow, and then I have several to go. And you have several to go. We'll have to take the whole thing out. Okay, uh, as you can see, most of the medium has started to rot. Okay. And once you have rotting medium, you're going to have roots, root rot. Okay. Is it that there was soil getting in there? Because this particular plant was on the, on a bed on the ground. You know, in stones in the pot, but yes. uh, some soil might have got into it. It would appear that some soil has gotten into it. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at it also and I can see where it appears that there was some amount of sphagnum moss in it. Okay. Now that in itself deteriorates over time mm -hmm. and it will look like soil after a while. Okay. We're just going to separate this into two. Can't we get more Here. than two? Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, oh, we, we certainly can. And you're going to have the um, sticks. Oh, the, yeah, the spent canes. The spent canes. Mm -hmm. And these you can either stick in yes. the oasis. Or we can actually just put it down. Or you can just put it to lie flat. Mice and Life feed, and feed, feed normally. And then it gets uh, a tiny bud coming up like this. Sometimes along the key, but this one just has one, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. So, that's it. Yes. And you're going to have yourself at least four plants and the start of a community pot. Thank you, Evia. You're most welcome.